Johnny, um, tough one to take at the end there. It felt like we were going to get all three points. What's your initial thoughts? I'm really, really proud of the performance. I thought the lads um, were outstanding to a man. I thought they left everything out on the pitch. The commitment for the badge was, was incredible, to be honest. And, you know, they put bodies on the line. They, they give me everything as far as, as far as effort. And I thought we was going to yeah, see it through and, and get what I would have... I would have said would be a deserved win, um, but yeah, obviously I've got to be really, really pleased with with my boys and, and, and what they gave me on the pitch today. After the goal, it seemed that they started to begin to get frustrated towards the end of the first half. What sort of messages were you getting onto the pitch after we went a goal down? Well, we'd spoke about it in the build-up to the game about um, continued inversity. How was we going to deal with, with little setbacks? It just felt like. <clears throat> Perhaps in games previously we haven't dealt with the adversity uh, that comes your way and there's always going to be moments in games where uh, you have to tough it out uh, and perhaps in the la last couple of games we haven't, we haven't dealt with those situations well so we spoke about how we were going to deal with it in the build-up and, and sure enough we got a setback uh, within minutes so um, I thought the response to that was, was excellent um, you know, we could have folded, we could have gone under especially you know, given the run that, that we've been on we was in a tough spot there and, uh, the lads stood up, they took the game to Bradford, I thought we was a better team after they scored for, for that half and then and then again for the majority of the second half. Harry Powell's been getting closer and closer, finally got his goal, you must be delighted for him. Yeah, I know Pelly's going to bring goals to the team and uh, by his own admission he, you know, he, he could have had a couple already so uh, pleased, it, pleased that he's off the mark, he gets in great positions, um, takes up some good attacking, uh, attacking positions, he makes the box. Um, and he was on hand, you know. If you're not, if you're not willing to make that run, um, you, know, you don't get a little rebound there. So, uh, yeah, really, really pleased for him. Ethan Chislett, he's coming, becoming his uh, speciality, really. The free kicks. Um, what, what did you make of it? What was your thoughts on it? Great, great technique, you know, in and around those those areas that, that chisler has got that in his locker. He's obviously, he's already he's already done it, um, done it this season, <clears throat> and he practices really hard. Practice is really hard, you know. It's not. I think we spoke about it when he when he scored at Crawley. That it's not a fluke because he uh, he does put the work in. You know, he can't just turn up and think that's going to happen. But he's got good technique. He's a technical player, he is, and uh, he works hard on those situations. Obviously, we get we get free kicks in those sort of areas, especially when you've got the likes of Ayub in the team. He probably gets fouled more than any other player I've ever seen. So yeah. um, it, it's important that you know you have got people that can capitalise on those situations. And of course, the first league start for Isaac Ungerdeer. Uh, how do you think he got on? I thought, I thought the young lad was magnificent. Um, yeah, I mean, I spoke before the game to the, to the group about how we needed to to really be a team, and I wanted a team performance that was that was 11 starters and uh, five that come off the bench. But I think I had to I had to single him out for praise in there because um, <clears throat> for a full league debut, I thought I thought he was magnificent. The way the energy that he brought us up and down that wing, you know, his commitment to to the game plan, his commitment to his defending, but also what he brought us uh, in attack as well. So uh, it was cramping up towards the end, but uh, we kept asking him if he was all right, and he kept saying, yeah, I'll get through it, I'll get through it. So for me, he looked like a man out there, not, not a young man. And then last but not least, um, what did you sort of say to the boys at the end there? Obviously, difficult to concede the goal in stoppage time, but I suppose you have to you know, emphasise the positives. Well, absolutely, yeah. I think, I think it was a tremendous performance against the team, but. You know, arguably he's going to be in and around uh, the automatic promotion. Games. It's a very, very difficult place to come. We've come here, we've taken the game to them. We could have scored more goals. I think. Uh, our performance deserved that. Uh, but it was a really good game. It was a really good performance. Uh, obviously, it's a point on the board. It stopped, it stopped the, the run of defeats. So we'd have liked more, but my message to them was get their heads up. Uh, I think they've done themselves and they've done the football club proud today.